Hello everyone, welcome back to Take Notes Family. And today I will be talking about spiritual bondage because I, the Lord placed this in my heart to speak about. Spiritual bondage is a satanic oppression. What it does, it holds you and keeps you where you are and it makes you feel like you can't do better. It makes you feel like no matter what you do, you can't get away from it and it's always there. You can have spiritual strongholds in different parts and areas in your life. Spiritual stronghold makes you feel like you can't do anything better because you've been doing it for 10 years, 5 years, 20 years. You know, you've just been doing it for quite a while and it becomes a habit and you feel like you can't do anything. You're just stuck there. When you, when you are, when you are in spiritual bondage, you can't relax. You have no peace. You're angry all the time, cold-hearted, bitter, and fearful. Fear keeps you in bondage. Fear, fear keeps you in spiritual bondage because you won't admit that you're depressed. You won't admit that you have anxiety. You won't admit it. So if you don't admit it, if you don't go to God, it's going to stay there. That's why it keeps you in spiritual bondage. That's why you're supposed to tell God, surrender yourself. Tell him that you're in this pain. You need to tell him so you can be freed. So that's that 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 spirit would leave you alone and you shall be free because God gave us power and authority over these demons that try to contain our lives. And Jesus speaks about spiritual bondage in Timothy 2.26, Romans 8.15. And Acts 8.23, you can see spiritual bondage is a real thing. When you are in spiritual bondage, it is a spirit that's tormenting you. It has legal rights to torment you because you opened that window. You opened that portal. You opened it. And the worst spiritual bondage that you can ever be in is pride. Pride is the worst. Everyone knows if you read your Bible, you know God do not like prideful people because they think they're the top. They want it. It's like they they think that they're always right. They won't take criticism. You don't have to whatever people opinions. Okay, you don't have to accept some of them all, but you can't say I won't listen to you because I know my word. Okay, you know your word, but sometimes you can learn new things. And even if it sounds wrong, you go to God about it. But you don't have to make it seem like I know everything in the world. I know the Bible from the front and the back of it. I'm perfect. Nothing's wrong with me. There's no demons in me. I have nothing. I'm great. That's prideful. And that's the worst bondage you can be in. Um, many Christians are unaware that they're in bondage. Christians, many, 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 many Christians don't like to admit they have a demon because they're they're scared they fear they fear the demon and they fear that oh my gosh there was there's a demon in me they're scared to admit it which is what fear what keeps you in spiritual bondage fear because you know why you do not admit that you have a demon in you if you have anxiety that's a bondage that's a bondage it's keeping you in bondage because it's anxiety. You have a demon in you. If you have anxiety, it's a demon. If you're the, if you're, if you're depressed, it's a demon. You have to cast them out. You have power and authority. Cast them out. We God gave it to us, so we need to learn how to use it. You just okay. You have to learn how we us Christians. It's very important to learn. That we have power over them no matter what level god gave us the power and god knows what we can and can't handle they have to go to god they have to ask him because you know god is the god in the bible when it speaks about job the devil the devil satan had to go to god so he could do all that to job you think the devil just walked in there and did that to job no he had to go to permission to god because he, he knew if he did that Without God's permission, he's done. He's done. He's done. That's why God gave us... No, I got it on those somewhere. The armor of God. How many armors of God? God gave us the armors of God. He gave us the belt of truth, the breastplate of righteousness, the shoes of God, the shield of faith, the helmet of salvation, and the sword of the spirit. The six armor, the six pieces armor of God. There are six. Six. You, you, we, we can use it. 
we can you here, ladies and gentlemen. And okay, so back what I was saying. Yes, make Christian like to no, they don't like to it's it's scary. I mean, yeah, if there was a spirit of you, I mean a demon of you, you'd be like, What the heck? Where where did you come from? What did, like you don't wanna admit that, but you have to admit that. And that's how a spirit of Jezebel get people to not jack out spirits because they don't admit it. They're too scared. They're scared of you. Can't be scared of demons because once you put that armor of God, that once you put all that suit on, all of that on, and if you and you say the blood of Jesus, and you have faith, and if you don't have fear, they're done. They're done. God gave you that to put authority to have authority over them. He gave us that and we just need to learn how to use it but if you feel like okay you go you go to church doing what the lord said but you still feel hopeless you still feel like you still feel tired you still feel hopeless you still feel like ugh, you don't feel like no movement is being changed your spiritual thing is not being changed you're in bondage spiritual bondage and my brothers and sisters do not think you can't escape from this. Do not think you cannot be out of spiritual bondage. There's ways to be free. And the Bible speaks about that in 1 John 1, 9, James 4, 7, Galatians 5, 1, about being free, being set free from it. God can set you free. All you have to do is repent. Get in the Lord's presence. You have to pray. You know why? You have authority to drive them out. We need to start living righteously. Surrender yourself to Jesus Christ. Surrender yourself. And God will, if you're seeking, God will set you free. You need to seek. Brothers and sisters, we have to seek so God can set us free from whatever you're going through, whatever trauma that you have been through. God can set you free. Remember, God is everything. Hopefully you guys enjoyed my message today. You can be free from it. I will put, if you want to learn more about spiritual bondage, I'm just, I just, I'm saying, I'm saying I feel like I need to practice this on myself. So there and we can be, we need to fight together. Um, the world is coming to an end. So we need to be, we need to have our oils ready. So when when the king returns, we're ready and he takes us home with him, you know, so we can go home. Because I don't know about you, but I'm tired of being here. I don't talk too long, so I don't talk too much. But now I see why people talk a lot because you just want to tell people off your experience, just don't give up. You know, nothing's impossible with God. Don't give up. Don't think it's too hard for you. Never think nothing's hard. I mean, I know sometimes the spiritual battles. And I know when you lose a battle as a Christian, you're going to lose some, you're going to win some. You learn from it and you get stronger. Don't think, don't take it as, well, yes, take it as to beat. But don't make it make you weaker. Make it make you stronger. Always use that. Like if something attacks you, don't be sad and try to hide from it. You make it mad because it made you mad. You lost. All right, you're going to lose too. I'm going to spread the word. I'm going to make you mad. I'm going to make God happy. That's what you do that for. Don't forget to like, come subscribe. I take no family.